now that we've done all of the initial work of proving our exponential growth and decay equations and looking at our examples of money and rabbit reproduction, we can now move on to some formal, exam formal examples. So our first example says there are initially 2,200 of a certain mutation of fecium in a petri dish. A lot of times you'll notice that when we're talking about exponential growth and decay, we will be talking about living organisms and in many cases bacteria. The bacteria has a growth constant of K equals 0.027 bacterium per hour. So we've already talked about the fact, and I'm going to write this really quick. Um, actually, we'll just go back to a previous slide. We talked about the fact that um, K represents the growth constant, which means uh, you multiply that by the current amount, in this case bacteria, to give you the rate in which that bacteria is increasing, which means that as time goes on, the rate will be increasing. So the rate of this bacterium in this petri dish will keep growing and growing and growing. And when a rate gr when a rate grows, then the amount will naturally grow. The first question is, how many bacteria will there be after one day? Well, notice we are given two numbers, and we need to figure out a question about an amount. Well, fortunately, since we've already proven the exponential growth and decay equation, we don't have to rederive it. We can go straight to the formula. So again, how many bacteria will it be after one day? We're given the K value. We're given the initial condition. So my question to you is, for step one, write out the formulas for exponential growth. Which one of these formulas are we going to use? Well, just read the question. It says, how many bacteria will there be after one day? The question of how many is not a rate question, but an amount question. Because of that, we will be using this first formula. Now, you can write this in many different ways, as we said. You can write it in terms of uh, sort of like a compound interest equation. It's the same exact thing. You can use A for amount instead of P. It doesn't really matter. But for this particular equation, since we're going to use the formula that we proved, P will represent the population of the bacteria, and P0 will represent the initial population, which they just gave us of 2,200. And of course, they also gave us the K number of 0.27, which we can easily plug into our equation. We will not be using the second equation, which is the rate equation. Again, I already did in a previous video a proof of how to get from there to there using uh, separable differential equations, which is why we lump this in with that lesson. Step two, we're going to write out what we know. We know that K is equal to 0.027. We know the initial population P0 is 2200. How many will there be after one day? In fact, I didn't mention that originally, but one day we want to write as 24 hours, and that's simply because when they gave us the rate, it said 0.027 per hour. Had it said 0.027 per day, then we would plug in um, just one, right? But because it's uh, af because the rate is per hour, we need to convert a day to 24 hours, and therefore t will be 24. The rest is simple. Step three, you're going to plug into the formula. That's the beauty of a proof. We don't have to do that proof every time. So we plug in 2200 for the initial population. We plug in 0 0.027. Of course, it's, uh, yeah, 0 0.027 for K. I thought there were more decimal places. And then 24 for T, meaning 24 hours. Step four is to solve for the unknown. And... The unknown is the population after 24 hours, which is exactly what we're going, what we're solving for, and we get an answer. We get an answer of 4,206. Now we want to put that in context and answer verbally. There will be 4,206 bacteria or bacterium after 24 hours. So this gives us context to the question. If we look back at the original amount, let's see if it makes sense. There were originally 2,200. What does our answer look like? Looks like it almost doubled after 24 hours, which makes sense because we talked about the fact that exponential growth works that way. Even with a small K value, because of such a large population, it is indeed going to double after one day. We're going to answer part B as well. It says at what point in time where there'll be a million bacteria. And we will do that in a separate video.